Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I thought I'd give you a quick update here. Alexandra, the sharpshooter, is in the game, along with one other new champion. So we got two free champions that have just dropped into the game. So for Simple, who is the um, legend, I would say, from Counter-Strike GO, uh, CSGO, playing for Na'Vi, actually playing him sponsor Na'Vi, so it kind of makes sense there's a bit of a link here. But we've got Simple coming into the game um, as a high elf sharpshooter. All you've got to do is log in for seven straight days and you're going to get this dude. Um, interesting that they've thrown in accuracy gear for my level of account. I was just asking Saf from HH Gaming. It looks like if you're the equivalent of their rank four in a, and below accounts, I think you get lifesteal gear. So same as you would have done with a shaman. Yeah, so this has now replaced shaman. It's the equivalent to what we got with Ninja. So everyone's kind of like, is he of the standard of Ninja or is he more like a Shaman? Okay, so we don't get into that today. Uh, I've got all of his multiplier info, so I'm going to pump that into the sheet as well and see where he sits. But yeah, let's see what we get. I do like that this is six star, day three to six, and legendary pieces for you know a couple of the items. So at least there's a chance to get some val you know, value out of this gear for my account. Uh, is accuracy gear what I would want for my high elf sharpshooting simple character honestly <laughs> if if he knew the game and had any say in it he'd be saying no guys look put put savage in there or put put at least fatal or cruel in there because i want to be someone who blows people up um or one shots people that's what he would be saying but i guess he probably doesn't know the game that well or has any sort of say in this stuff so let's get into what he's all about and then we can look at his multipliers. I'm can I'm wondering where I'm at with this clear up, by the way, because the second free champion is a login champion. We'll get to that um, after we look at simple. So along with this, there is a I like this simple chase. There is a promo code with this guy. So S1 MPL simple. Confirm. You'll get yourself some Brucey bonuses. You are welcome. Uh, now, before you do it, just before you do it, think for a second. Just think for a second. Are you someone who is going to struggle with a Christmas fusion? Yes or no? My free to play will. Okay, so I am not going to pull these free rewards for a few days. I've only got a six, they only have a six day life on them. Look at this. Six days and they're gone. Uh, again, for a new player, this is juicy. Like, this is an awesome uh, promo code, honestly. But for someone who's more established, um, like my main account, I did it straight away. I'll farm away some Fire Knight. On my free to play, I'm going to wait until the Christmas Fusion is released. And then I'm going to get all of that energy and that bruise and the XP. Um, I've only got 16 weeks left on my XP boost on the main. Damn. Uh, but yeah, so free, uh, it's a promo code in there, simple. But make sure you just have a little think. Do I want to use it today? It's probably going to be live for the two months that simple's in the game. So just have a little think. Anyway, let's get on to it. Let's have a look then. Hi, Alf. Alexandra. You might notice when he first popped into the game, they keep dropping champions into the game with just like a hero, one, oh, three, four, two. Um, I'm not really sure why they're doing that. But anyway, they got it fixed. They got it fixed. Um, so first off, good base speed, okay base defense, pretty solid base attack, and a, and a healthy, actually, better than I thought it'd be, a pretty healthy base HP. So he's got a bit of survivability and he's got an okay base attack. The attack is irrelevant until we see his multipliers, honestly. So we'll get into that in a minute. A1 attacks one enemy, 35% chance of placing a freeze for one turn. Goes up to 50 against Orcs and Ogryn tribes. I mean, a freeze on an A1 with a 35% uh, chance to land and you don't need books to, to improve that. It's pretty solid it's actually a pretty good a1 it's not it's not like breaking the game or crazy or some fun mechanics or anything but straight up 35 percent chance to freeze i mean thinking about this depends where they're, they're looking for him to be a player and i guess we'll see in a minute but playing against orcs and ogryn tribes i mean two factions out of 14 it's almost like you you ignore it exists honestly you know that's that's gonna be relatively low chance um, and if I think about, you know, something like an arena meta, how many orcs or ogryn tribes do we really see? 
I guess we see a few, you know, Warlord for one, for example, but that's high, high end game. Uh, but that's not going to come into effect too much. So AOE on his A2. Books down to a three turn cooldown. Very nice. Um, books up to 100% chance of placing decreased defense for two turns. Now think about it for a second because a lot of you are going to be saying, oh, this isn't as good as whoever. For a new player that's coming to the game because they've seen simples in the game and that type of stuff, which is what Clarium aim to do with this, by the way. They don't care about me or, or you know, someone else who's been playing for six months up to three years. They don't care about that. They want new blood, new players coming in to get attracted by this deal. That's, that's what they're doing with it. So an AoE drop defense champion with a three-turn cooldown on it also, 100% chance of placing weaken against these two factions again. And I'm like, wish there was more factions, honestly, or, or change it up. But that's a, a massive skill. It's a massive skill. And if it hits reasonably hard as well, then for a newer player, this is a huge champion to get. You know, maybe not ninja level. Ninja, ninja was kind of obscene. But so far, this skill, you know, if you look at my free-to-play series, literally like, um, in fact, let me have a look. So yeah, on the free to play series, I was, th I was thinking it's an early video. It's literally my day two video, a beautiful site. I went hunting for War Maiden on the free to play. Okay, so day two, I was like, I need an AOE drop defense champion in my lineup. And I went and got War Maiden. Now think about it if you're coming into the game beforehand where we're getting Shaman. Now you've got an AOE drop defense champion, which you could book to 100% on a three turn cooldown. If it, and you know, in terms of defensive stats, way stronger than War Maiden. Okay, you do have to put legendary books in. That's the downside versus War Maiden. You can farm and get free books in effect. So that's the, that's the downside to it. But it's a good skill to have for a newer player. And I tell you what, anyone who's trying to push faction wars, like my free to play now, 160 days in, this is a massive champion. This is a massive champion for that account. So, uh, so far, so good, I'd say. A3 then, attacks one enemy. Removes all buffs from the target. Removes all buffs from the target before attacking when targeting enemies from these factions again. So you attack first, then remove buffs on every other faction, but you remove the buffs first. I mean, it's very average. That's a very average skill, I would say. Definitely, for a legendary champion, it should just be remove buffs first. And then we've got an aura here, accuracy in all battles. Again, big for a newer player um, by 60. So I guess, look, we're going to get into the multipliers to see if he absolutely hits like a cannon. If I was thinking about what I was expecting before this champion dropped, but, you know, bearing in mind he's a Counter-Strike player, um, he's known as an AWPA, as a clutch player, I was expecting to see some sort of ignore defense. Yeah, I thought it'd be like an, a bit like a Raw Huntsman ignore defense nuke on one of the skills. Or maybe an AoE ignore defense I was hoping to see. Um, I was expecting to see some sort of crazy passive or clutch passive. Maybe a bit like Leo. Where, or a bit like Candy. Where there was kind of some way that he was able to stay alive to try and clutch to win. Just based on his, his kind of like him. You know, in terms of him as a person in the way he plays other games. So I guess the kit's a little underwhelming. Um, or I'd say a little generic. A little, a little simple. <laughs> maybe that's the right word for it. Uh, but for a newer player, this skill is pretty massive. Honestly, the Orc and Ogren Tribes thing feels a little bit, a little bit like it. It shouldn't really even exist. It should just the this, this kit should just be slightly upgraded and forget this because it's so, so small in a, a game that's got fourteen factions. Honestly, um, yeah, it's it's just a little bit underwhelming. So let's see how his multipliers compared to other champs. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of a comparison against Herndig who has got a similar level of attack, 1409, whereas this guy, 1432. So Alexandra's got slightly more, but it's pretty damn similar. Um, they both, they've all got, or they both got A1 and A3 single target, albeit Herndig's has is, is got more fancy mechanics in it. And they've got an AOE drop defense A2. So it feels like a pretty good comparison. So the A1 for Herndig's got a four times multiplier, Whereas Alexandra's got 3.7, so slightly worse than Herndig's A1, but not by a lot. It's actually pretty damn similar. And the grading for this one on Herndig is godlike, so top 15% of champs in the game. So this, so pretty strong hit in A1, same damage uh, books as well. Um, Alexandra gets slightly better book damage 
than Herndig. So Herndig gets 10%, Alexandra gets 15 So pretty similar again on the uh, abilities. And AoE drop defense is the same. Um, Herndig has got multiplier 4.4. Alexandra's got 4.2. So again, very similar. It'll be a slightly worse hit than Herndig's A2, which hits like a cannon, honestly. So his A2 drop defense is going to hit pretty damn hard. And in the A3 here, which again, Herndig's got some fancy mechanics much better than I'd say what Alexandra's got. But in terms of damage, A1, attack one enemy, 20% damage from books on a 6.2. Here we get 20% damage from books again. So same amount of book damage, 6.2. And Alexandra's actually 6.2 as well. So basically, I'd say he's like a Herndig, but without the cool extras <laughs> he's like a, a watered down herndig is what i'd say and herndig we know hits like a cannon on all his skills so this guy's gonna hit hard um which is nice if he didn't hit hard it would probably be a bit like what is the point but he's not going to break the game in any way so alexandra the sharpshooter everyone's gonna get him for free he's gonna be pretty damn cool for this faction war team you've already got one aoe drop defense in tayrell uh, and if you already had um, Royal Huntman, uh, Huntsman, honestly, Huntsman's probably a better champion all round, I would say. So if you already got Huntsman doing your drop defense, probably keep him. Albeit, Huntsman's kind of squishy and hard to keep alive. This guy will be easier to keep alive. But yeah, if you've already got this guy built out, you probably wouldn't build out Alexandra. But if you don't, he's probably coming into most people's faction war teams. So decent champion, not crazy. Let's talk about the second champion that has gone into the game that is also a free champion the difference is alexandra you need to um you need to be able to play the game for the next seven days to get him scion is going to be the new login reward after cleo i could just see it now everyone in chat's gonna write i wish i just had my sacred and my chicken i get you i get what you're saying it is nowhere near as exciting grabbing these fragments every month and honestly i must be close to getting this this damn chicken by now surely i feel like i've been no i've still got another month's worth i think i've got like another month or so worth before i get scion but scion will replace cleopterix and they've told us before everyone totally freaks out um which you probably will do anyway they've told us that they're going to probably rotate epic to legendary epic to legendary so even more reason that people are going to say, I just want my sacred and my chicken in uh, the login rewards. And I get it. So let's have a look at this other new champion then. The new champion that you would need to play the game for. What was it four months for Cleopteryx? This guy will be uh, two months worth of grind instead of four. So it's not as much time. But So basically you need to play the game, I think, for like 14, 15 months before you get yourself a Scion. Is he going to rock our world? In fairness, I mean, he looks freaking cool. You can pull him from Ancient Shards. People have already shown me that they've got this guy. Damn, he looks really cool, actually. Really like the design. This one they could have just called Hell Hades, right? This one they could have called Hell Hades. I could have been the controversial dude in the, uh, in the chat. Anyway, looks cool. Good speed. Okay, pretty weak HP, pretty weak defense. So he's... Kind of squishy, but good-ish attack. Um, a block active skills A1, 30% chance. Average, but okay, I guess. And A uh, attacks one enemy, places block buffs and heal reduction for two turns. Will ignore a shield. Three turn cooldown. And then what we got here on the A3. So far, I'm not impressed. Removes all debuffs from this champion. Then attacks all enemies. Places increased attack and increase crit damage for one turn after attacking. Why would it not be before attacking? <laughs> Where is, what is the point of that? Okay, I, feel, I mean, it feels, removes all debuffs from himself, then it's an AOE, blah, blah, blah. Okay, enemies under block active steals, block buffs and heal reduction cannot decrease this champion's turn meter. He seems a bit blah to me. Okay. Okay, there we go. So look, 
two new champions in the game one of them free for us all the other one free for us all just at different times of the game by a long way um and yeah i would say look my free to play i'm all over that alexandra my main account he probably won't get much of a look in but still a free champion is a free champion right and it's better than shaman <laughs> anyway guys i've been hell hades enjoy i'll see you later